Hi, my name is Stefan Peters, and I'm a U.S. dressage athlete. If you could play another Olympic sport, what would it be? I think swimming, because I still do that daily. And um, I just I just enjoy the just, just the technique of it and being in the water um, clears my mind very nicely. I I enjoy the the breathing parts, almost has a little bit of a meditative sensation. Right. I think that would be it. Awesome. What would you say is your greatest accomplishment? I think that was in 2009. That was the, the World Cup in Las Vegas followed by the uh, the win in Aachen, that was pretty incredible. And um, if I could somehow describe what it feels like to ride in front of a American dressage fan, that's undescribable. I still can't put word to the words to that. Awesome. What would you tell your 10-year-old self? My 10-year-old self, yes. learn to let go. Learn to let go. Don't hold on to things. Don't buy into betrayal, frustration or anything. Just let go. Learn to let go. Perfect. Do you have or what's what's your pre-ride routine? My pre-ride routine, I love to listen to to music or some inspirational um, videos. Okay. I just watched yesterday the uh, 30 year old ca uh, lady who had cancer on American Scott Talent. I mean, what an inspiring story and, you know, inspiration is one of the biggest gifts of mankind and I love to look for something like that before the warm-up. So what's on that playlist of yours when you're listening to music? Uh, mainly Coldplay, anything from, anything Coldplay, but from, from U2 to um, Pink Floyd, you name it. And there's, there's very specific playlists. Showtime, for instance, one play, uh, playlist, uh, chill time, uh, meditation time, okay, so we're party to, time. We're going to have to create our own USA Dressage like Spotify. There you go. So you're going to have to help us. There you go. Those. We'll have to see that. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you have any superstitions? I used to. I had a tail coat that I wore for 20 years. And um, finally, it just fell apart where my mom couldn't fix it anymore and had to buy a new one. But that used to be my superstition, yes. Who would you say is your biggest influence, equestrian or non? It would be my wife, Shani. I mean, the way she's helped me through the last few years have been a bit challenging. It's incredible, you know, always there with an encouraging word. Um, it clearly would be her. Okay. Describe yourself in five words. Five words. A person that's still learning incredible lot. So very open minded, um, patient, honest. Okay. Um, what is your least favorite movement to school? It I would say it depends a bit on the horse, but it it probably would be the, the zigzag half pass. Okay. And you know, there's so much coming up since it's somewhat confusing to the horse too you know and and the rain back okay how do you keep yourself occupied on long flights um i love movies and i always say i'd rather watch um a good movie twice than a bad movie once so um there's a lot of favorite movies on there okay what's that what's a few of those favorite movies one of them is uh, the tourist with uh, Angelina Jolie and Johnny Depp. Most embarrassing moment. Most embarrassing moment. It's very simple. We're in 96. We had an invitation at the White House and we shook uh, the president, President Clinton's hand, Chelsea's hand, and the first lady's hand. And we were at the very end of the group outside the blue room and there was a statue of George Washington. And we put glasses on George Washington. I put the medal around his neck and we took pictures. And at the same time, President Clinton comes over and I'm still taking pictures and everybody's kind of looking funny at me, but I didn't see him. And um, so, you know, President Clinton just smiles and said, look, you guys are having a great time. That's wonderful. And I, I didn't even know what to say. Um, what's the, what's your favorite country you've ever traveled to? Favorite country I've ever traveled to? Um, I want to say I want to say Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah. Awesome. Do you get nervous before you compete? Heck yeah, like crazy. 
And what I've what I've learned now is to take to take that nervousness or anxiety into into the ring. I I take it by the hand. You know, I used to fight it and hide from it and run from it, but not anymore. Awesome. Most influential horse in your career? Uh, clearly, Ravel. So far. And if you could ride any horse, past or present, who would it be? It would have been fun to sit on Vallegro, no doubt. Okay. What's your favorite food? Favorite food is just a big old steak. The bigger, the better, with some Bernays sauce on it. And, um, you know, just, just a really nice filet or Chateau Bouillon, something like that. Okay. Do you consider a hot dog a sandwich? It's a hot dog a sandwich. No. It's a hot dog. <laughs> okay. Does pineapple belong on pizza? No. Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> I wish you didn't have to make that. I forgot to ask that one. <laughs> okay. Um, a last question. Have you met any, like, at past Olympics, have you met any Team USA athletes that stuck with you or that you really enjoy meeting? Yeah, I had a nice talk with uh, Michael Phelps in the Rio Olympics, and uh, it certainly inspired me.